A project in Construct 2 contains all the information about the game or app you are building. When you are working in Construct 2, you will be actively modifying a project. There are two kinds of projects in Construct 2, single file and folder projects. The former is for small individual projects. The latter is for larger group projects. A project consists of many elements and each element has properties that may be customized to suit the kind of game or app that you want to build. Let's talk about projects. Projects are basically the collection of all the elements that make up your game. In Construct2, there's two different types of projects. There's a single file project and then there's a folder project. The single file project or the CapEx is normally for individual or small projects and the folder projects are for groups and uh, multiple users. So in order to create a new project, you can go to the file menu and choose new. Construct2 is a powerful tool. You can create so many different types of games using the tool, but what's great about Construct2 is they don't want you to reinvent the wheel. They don't want you to always start from scratch. So you'll see a dialogue pop up with all these different templates that can really help you um, learn how to create a game in Construct2. But let's say we wanted to start from scratch. If we wanted to do that, we would just click New Empty Project. And we'd see something like this. Every project starts off with one layout, one event sheet, and as you can see, there's a little asterisk here which basically says your project has not been saved yet. To give your project a name, you go to the left, and in the properties bar, you can name it, let's say, sample project. Just like any Windows-based application, you can control S to save, and it'll bring up a dialog. Notice how it says save as CapX. This is what we call a single file project. So your entire project is in one singular document. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my file, to my flash drive. I'm gonna call it sample project and save. If I go to my folder, I'll see that now I have a file called sampleproject.capx. If you can't see this extension, then make sure you go to Windows. Make sure where it says hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. That's how you're able to see the full extension on all your files. Anytime you're doing something for a computer science class, it's really important that you're able to see the file extensions. So change your folder options as appropriate or come see me and I'll help you out. What's really neat about Construct2 projects is that they really are behind the scenes just zip files, compressed archives of files. You could change the extension on your Construct2 project and then you will see that your CapEx is really just a collection of files and folders all compressed together. So I always find that very interesting. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's take a look at an existing project. I want to point out a couple important things for you. So if you select your project in the projects bar, you will see all of the properties that are associated with the project you're working on. Some of the most important ones are ones like name. First layout is the first screen um, that you want the user to see. Window size, this is extremely important. This is the size in pixels of the area that the user will see at a time. So in this case, my user, my game is targeted at showing them 1920 pixels wide, 1080 pixels tall. You also have configuration settings. Make sure your preview browser is Chrome. Depending upon what type of game you have, you might use different uh, scaling, different full screen and browser settings, but those are the big ones. When you go to work on your game, you're gonna find yourself in your layouts quite a bit. You can minus, minus, minus to zoom out, plus, plus, plus to zoom in. When it comes time to run and test your game, you can go to the quick access toolbar and click on what looks like a play button to run the layout. This will launch your work in progress game in a browser for you to test. Sometimes you'll need to debug something and you're gonna to wanna to run your game in the debug mode. 
find what looks like a little bug with the play button and click debug layout. In this case, it will show you not only your work in progress game, but there will also be a window at the bottom with an inspector and where you can see all of the details of your game. This is great for troubleshooting while you're building your game. When working with projects, it's very similar to any other application you've used. You're going to want to make sure you use the file menu to save, to close, for example, close project, to open an existing project, 